Hello everyone. This video was shot at the Clifford E. Lee Nature Sanctuary, which protects 348 acres of marsh, open meadows, and forest areas. The sanctuary is known for its boardwalks that follow the marshland areas, and seeing waterfowl is usually fairly easy. As you can see, the day did not disappoint with many types of waterfowl, including mallards and coots. This video was shot about a year ago and had been sitting in my files since about last August, but recently somebody seen the videos and insisted that I should put them up. The reason being that, for me anyway, I find that waterfowl videos don't seem to do very well. As previously mentioned, this video was shot in August, and by looking at the mallards and coots here, you can see that they were born in spring. The coots at this time are grey, and as they get older, they will turn more of a black colour. The mallards at this time are all showing a female coloration. As they get older, the males will grow into a coloration that shows more green feathers and distinctive colours of the male mallards. No blocking the trail for this guy. As seen here, the coot's feet are different as they don't have web feet. The toes are not connected by a membrane. Coots belong to the rail family, which are known for short wings and long toes, which allow them to walk on soft mud. I was not sure what they were eating here, but it looked like there was something tasty. Unfortunately, even though it's a nature sanctuary, I have seen people sneaking food to them. But whether this is a good thing or not, I'll leave to the experts to decide. The older one was certainly showing who's boss. And then we were off to another wildlife viewing area. However, along the trail we found this moose track, but we looked around, but we could not find any moose. We're not 100% sure, but we think this could be a young golden eye.
I wanted to put the GoPro under the water to get an interesting shot of them diving, but decided against it. Sometimes you have to make a decision, and I was pretty sure if I put the GoPro under the water that they'd probably stop diving entirely. But still would have been a great shot had it worked out. We think this might have been a young one because it appeared to not have his diving perfected yet. At any rate, it was certainly getting its practice time in. At the end of the day, we were very fortunate with the amount of waterfall that we've seen. So I'll leave you with this final shot. Thank you everyone for coming over and supporting the channel.